Concordia Stingers have a long and vibrant history of sports champions, including professional athletes and Olympians. Each year, a few athletes from Concordia's illustrious past are invited back to celebrate their accomplishments and rekindle old friendships at the Sports Hall of Fame induction ceremony and banquet. One of this year's award recipients in Montreal's beautiful Ritz-Carlton is quarterback Colin Anderson. Thank you very much, everybody. You know, it was important to be part of something that uh, went from zero to 60. Back in 1980, Anderson led Concordia's football team to national prominence. Today, he accepts his award surrounded by old friends from his university days. It feels wonderful. It feels wonderful to come back, see friends, family, community. That was so important to me. Wonderful. The event is organized by Concordia's Department of Recreation and Athletics and Advancement and Alumni Relations. Assistant captain of Concordia's current hockey team, Jessica Bernard, was among many students to come show support for Concordia's athletic alumni. So it's nice to get the alumni getting in with the new guys and creating a bond that uh, we can have for a lifetime now. He says he came especially because the entire men's hockey team of 1982-83 was inducted into the Hall of Fame. Not just anyone can claim a place in Concordia Sports Hall of Fame. An athlete, coach, or an entire team must be nominated. They're judged by a panel who must agree that they've made an outstanding contribution to Concordia's athletics department. Women's rugby alumna Natasha Wesh says she's proud to be part of the Stingers' legacy. And that you provide sort of a, a foundation on which other teams and other programs can be built. Also inducted into the Sports Hall of Fame was hockey coach Dave Draper, wrestler Serge Marcel, runner Bill Peel, hockey player Michael Walker, and the entire men's wrestling team of 1985-86. For Concordia Now News and Events, I'm Emily Campbell.